Yo, what is up, guys? This is Troy D from the Troy D 24 7 Mall channel on Port Reviews all day, every day. Welcome back. If you are one of my old subscribers, welcome back. It's 2021. We are headed for a bigger year this time, guys. Okay, my channel grew in 2020, and so I'm so excited for 2021, guys. Okay, so thank you for being with me in this ride okay and if you are new to the channel welcome also you will be able to check a lot of videos out i mean that spring summer hit list is probably gonna come up very very soon because it might be getting warmer in a couple of months so today we are going to talk about a fragrance that was really like high in demand a lot of people were asking me to review this and uh, the bottle, the full bottle of this one is actually quite expensive and there's not a lot of talk about it, but there's a lot of hype. The fragrance we are going to talk about today is Bulgari Cobra, all right? So that's why I posted a photo of one of my favorite shows, Cobra Kai, which is back again for uh, season three. So if you guys like Cobra Kai, let me know in the comments below. Or if you like G.I. Joe, you like Cobra Commander, let me know as well. Okay, so this is Cobra. I mean, I really don't know how to pronounce it. If it's Cobra ah, or it's Cobra or it's Cobra. So I think that the safest way is to just call it Cobra. So this fragrance right here was sent to me by my good friend Juan Nazario, Mr. Fatboy himself, Fatboy Fragrances. He does sell a lot of decants of famous fragrances, so I'll link him below. Let him know that I sent you, and for every $15 purchase, you will get a sample pack from him, okay? So it's a really, really cool deal. That's $15, okay? It's not like 15 fragrances. So if you purchase a decant from him, $15 minimum, you will get a sample pack from him as well. So again, that's Juan. Thank you so much, Juan. And more power to your channel. We will be talking about Cobra today, guys. Is it really that good? I'll never forget the few comments I got from a handful of guys that were saying, man, this is the best of the line. Ooh, big words, guys. So hang on tight, guys. We're going to talk about Cobra. Let's hit the music. Okay, we're back guys, Bulgari Le Gem Cobra. So I do wanna show you guys what the full bottle looks like yet again. Uh, the full bottles are like this, okay? They're really beautiful. But in this case, this release, uh, it comes out in a green bottle, all right? So it's absolutely nice. I mean, the bottle is it's very tempting to buy this actually. It's a standout bottle uh, in my opinion. And because it's green, it's gonna it's gonna pop out if you have I mean if you do care about like a like a bottle collection guys I think that this bottle right here this green Bulgari bottle I think it gets like a 9 out of 10 or 10 out of 10 for me I think it's absolutely sick so I have been killing this sample but let's do one more spray for old time's sake yeah wow so Bulgari Tiger guys so I want to say in advance that with these Bulgari Le Gem fragrances, the notes listed, they usually have only like three. But I will also talk about possible notes that's not listed that I'm picking up here with Bulgari uh, Cobra. Okay, so the first part of Bulgari Cobra is basically a green geranium leaf note. All right, and this is, you could say it's almost the star of the show. I wouldn't say it's completely the star of the show. The geranium leaf here starts off bitter, guys. It's bitter and it is uh, really green bitter with some slight citrus nuances, okay? So this is really interesting and um, let me know in the comments, guys, what you guys think if you've tried this one. But for me, the first thing that came to mind was I was really impressed by the combination of freshness and then at the same time, like, almost like a, it's like a dark fragrance at the same time because of this geranium leaf because it starts bitter but then there's the green note and then there's that lingering like citrusy feel on the geranium leaf that really I was just like wow this is amazing this is like dark and like super classy but then at the same time it gave me uh, some sort of freshness and i'll explain more as we go for a lot of y'all the thing that you are going to pick up here is that this could be a classy gent scent 
because of that green with that little freshness uh, that's coming out from there, that bitterness though, uh, that's the immediate thing. And I mean, we were just talking about a few black tie fragrances and I think I should make a black tie uh, compilation video. So this one would fall into that. I think that this would be a black tie fragrance, but I mean, it can also be for work, but I think that this is something that maybe somebody with a position would wear, okay, FYI. Uh, I think somebody that is uh, quite bossy and maybe uh, you can say mysterious, uh, you know, this is your deal right here. I mean, for some reason, I also think about like Slytherin, <laughs> Slytherin from Harry Potter. You know what I mean? It's like if you got that, that you're part of Slytherin, you know, you got that Slytherin vibe, like maybe this is for you right here. The green note here is absolutely great. Um, I think it's one of the big uh, things here that, that make Cobra. I think that's why it's such a hit for the guys. Now, the next note that comes in with Bulgari Cobra is incense, guys. All right, incense. Now, let me say this for everybody that's listening, guys. The thing I do like about Cobra is how this fragrance is sort of like tiptoes towards the mystical, magical part of that incense. But you know what, guys? It never really crosses that, okay? And so that might be a bummer for those that were expecting something uh, really uh, oriental. But to be honest, I love the fact that Cobra doesn't cross that line, okay? That the that Bulgari Cobra basically still is within the gentlemanly, green, fresh, uh, like, category of fragrances, despite having that incense there. And one of the reasons why I also feel like it is a uh, gentlemanly scent is because there are some, you could say vetiver-like uh, nuances here, you know, with the combination of the geranium leaf as well as the incense. Because as you guys know, I mean, with vetiver, vetiver smells green, it smells like fresh cut grass, and then there's also some smoky nuances of vetiver, all right? So there's no vetiver here, guys. But you can expect for vetiver lovers something of a vetiver-like effect with the combination of the geranium leaf as well as that incense. Now, I will say this, guys. This green part stays and stays and stays. And that is really one of the primary reasons you should get this, okay? it's Some people will say the incense is the star of the show, but I really think that it's the geranium leaf. So the incense comes in, gives you that vetiver-ish vibe right there and you know eventually this one extends into the well written note of agarwood or oud uh, as it's written on the notes now i will say this guys couple of things again on the nuances so there's that vetiver like nuance and then there's also like a like a white musk nuance here as well you know so you'll definitely smell some white musk it's very very clean and again if you if you put two and two together you've got that vetiver like uh part of it and then you've got the clean white musk part of it that's exactly why a lot of y'all gentlemen that love this you think it's a great gent scent well that's because of those things you know it's it's not listed you know if you look at the just the three notes you might think this is more of like a super oriental fragrance. You're gonna be like, ooh, really? But really, it's those underlying smells that really make this a great gentlemanly fragrance, okay? So yet again, you've got that green with hints of citrus, with vetiver-like nuances, incense, and then eventually you've got the clean musk and the woods heading towards the dry down. So definitely i would say that heading towards the dry down what's up with the oud is it really like real oud ah, i don't know man i i think that is more of like just a woody note with musk um and i think that there's also some sweetness here uh possibly amber towards the dry down because there's some sweetness coming in i mean the sweetness could come from either the frankincense or the oud but either way there's like a, a sweet amber touch towards the end but nevertheless the thing that's very pronounced to me past the incense is definitely that clean musk and uh, some woody notes right here we'll say this guys that the fragrance will not surprise you okay i mean if you smell this even if you're not super experienced with fragrances, I think that you're going to say it smells like something you know. 
okay really i mean that's the first impression i got after being impressed of course uh i was like wow this is great this is something i should tell my subscribers especially the guys but then i was just like oh wow it it, it smells very familiar okay so i don't think when it comes to like the breakthrough scent like it's anything totally different i don't think so but i will say this that this one like i said the best part of cobra by bulgari is that it plays with that gentlemanly functional part and then you've got the oriental incensey uh part okay so i love how it plays uh between those uh categories guys and to me like i said this is something that once you smell this you can either think about this as like a black tie fragrance, something you can wear to a formal event or semi-formal event. I also do think though that this is for somebody with a position, you know, whether in an organization or whether uh, you're in a company, a corporation. I think that this one right here, whether it's in the office or outside of the office, will be uh, telling people around you who's the boss. You know, I, it's, it's such a bossy type fragrance. You know, because it doesn't have that super freshness that, you know, maybe the younger guys or maybe like the, the guys under you would have that, that fresh cologne. The one that says like, oh yeah, hey, you know, like, like me, this is all mass appealing. Uh, this one doesn't. Starts off bitter actually and then catches later on with the freshness. So definitely this is a, this is a bossy scent. Definitely a bossy scent, 100%. And I do recommend this for the guys it's expensive but i mean from a buyer's perspective guys you got 100 mil you got a beautiful bottle as well and then it's 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 highly functional it's highly functional i wouldn't say it's like a day-to-day -day grabber but i can name a hundred reasons why i would use this thing okay so it's very very functional guys and i mean definitely try it definitely try it uh you know message uh juan from fat boy fragrances and hopefully he still has some more cobra and he lets you guys uh, purchase one of his decants so definitely sample worthy and let me know in the comments if you own cobra for the guy that told me this is one of the best i haven't tried the entire line everybody's telling me to also try gyan um yeah this one right here cobra is better than tigar in my opinion and it's possibly even better than ambero so I think it's great. I think it's great. Let me know in the comments if you've tried this. Okay. Only reason you're hating on this is you see three notes and you're just like, man, I'm not paying four, three, four hundred dollars for those three notes. Screw that. <laughs> you know. But really, guys, um, this is nice. You'll be surprised at how awesome this one right here is. Okay. So that's it. That is my review on Bulgari Le Gem. Cobra, 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 I don't know, whichever, <laughs> Cobra, okay, thank you for watching this video, and again, do not forget to like and subscribe, and I will do more of these Bulgari uh, Le Gem scents, if you would like, just comment below what you think I should do next, and we'll eventually get it, and again, I want to thank Juan from Fatboy Fragrances, I want to thank you guys for starting up 2021 real awesome, okay, so we are gearing for a really great 2021 in fragrances, but more importantly, in life. So you are hopefully uh, staying safe, wearing your masks, guys, because, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Here in LA, it's like the epicenter, I believe. It's really out of control here. So please be safe wherever you are, guys, okay? Wherever you are around the world. And until then, this is Troy D. I'll see you guys tomorrow yet again. God bless. Peace out.